Welcome to today's yin yoga practice. I'm excited that you are here and uh, taking some time for yourself. Today's practice is focused on the low back. We'll begin practice here in butterfly. You'll take a big inhale and then exhale, fold forward. You can take blocks under the knees to support or you can stay in this variation. In today's practice, we will be holding postures for about three minutes or so, giving our bodies time to settle in, to breathe, and to relax. Oftentimes in yoga, we are focused on strengthening the muscles. But in this practice, in this skin class today, we're focused on relaxing, on settling in, and calming the mind and body. Take a moment to notice how you feel currently in butterfly. Notice where your knees are resting, how your back feels, and begin to deepen the breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. With every inhale, fill the belly with air Feel the belly expand. And with every exhale, feel the belly contract. Feel the navel contract towards the spine. And maybe you sink and lower a bit deeper. hips settle in here, feel the sits bones settle in, and take a moment to notice how you feel now that you've been in butterfly for quite a few breaths. Take a big inhale and exhale, release. On that next inhale, begin to slowly peel yourself up to a seated position. Take a deep breath here. And we'll make our way to Yogi Squat Malasana. You can use a block here under the sits bones for support. Soles of the feet will rest towards the ground. Knees wide here. Arms will settle in between the knees and you can bring hands to prayer. You can slightly tuck the chin here and gaze at the ground just out above you or close the eyes. You can stay here or play with the variations in the arms. You can take thumb and first finger together, spreading arms wide, triceps on the inside of the knees for Gyan Mudra. This mudra helps with 
your concentration and focus. You can also wrap around for a bind, so opening the chest to the left, taking left arm behind the low back or reaching for right hand. Maybe you release and switch sides, so you wrap around right arm over top, touching low back or clasping with left hand. You have options. Let go of any gripping or stagnant tight energy and allow the hips and low back to settle in, maintaining your breath and maintaining your awareness and connection with the body. Take a big inhale, and then exhale, shift forward and release. We'll make our way to tabletop for a few rounds of cat and cow. You'll inhale, drop the belly and lift the crown of the head. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Maybe begin to take some hip circles in one direction and then the other. And then on that next inhale, we'll tuck the toes and lift the hips, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. On your inhale, we'll lift right leg high towards the sky and step that foot through, setting up for pigeon pose on the right side. Your right knee is bent, left leg extended back behind you, and you can stay on the hands, maybe take a breath or so, and then begin to release or so towards the ground, towards the mat. If you need, you can use a block underneath the hip for support underneath that right leg, that bent leg. And then you can rest head and chest to a bolster. Sometimes it's nice to use the support and as the body softens, begin to Maybe remove the bolster and then remove the block as your body has time to settle in.
take a moment to notice where you are. Maybe you sunk a bit deeper, maybe the chest is a bit lower and the hips are a bit looser. On the next inhale, begin to peel yourself up nice and slow. And then we'll sit over on that right hip, swinging left leg to meet the right. And then we'll switch sides. So we'll swing right leg extended long, left leg bent in front of us. Setting up for this side of pigeon. And when you're ready, begin to slowly lower the chest, lower the forehead. Notice how you feel. Notice if you're clenching in the jaw. Maybe the shoulders have shrunken towards the ears. Use this time to create some space, resting shoulders and dropping them away from the ears, relaxing eyebrows, letting go of any clenching in the hips and low back, relaxing the thighs and ankles, allowing the toes to relax and begin to deepen the breath here. Breathing space and energy to any tension. And then on the exhale, allowing it to release. a moment here to notice where you are notice how you feel maybe you've deepened we'll take a deep inhale and exhale release on that next inhale begin to slowly peel yourself up and away from the mat and then allow the hips to sink over to the left, rolling onto that left hip and swinging legs around to the front. Once you're there, we'll begin to lay down on the back and then bring the knees into the chest, giving yourself a nice big hug. You can reach palms for outer edges of the feet or peace fingers for big toes, setting up for happy baby. 
And it's always nice to play here. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Extend one leg and then the other. Maybe you bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, we'll bring our right leg over our left, crossing ankles. And you'll hug the knees in, hug the ankles in. And then you'll switch here, pressing tops of the feet into the palms, creating some tension here. And then we'll exhale, release, switching angles. So crossing left over right, hugging in those legs. And then we'll begin to press tops of the feet into the palms and then release. Bringing knees together for spinal twist. So extend the arms out to a T and drop the legs over to the left side. You can gaze over right shoulder to deepen the twist. If this is good, you can stay here or you can extend bottom leg long. And maybe use the left hand to guide the right knee towards the earth, deepening the twist here. As you inhale, breathe energy to the low back, breathe space to the low back, and then exhale, release any tension and relax a little bit deeper. A big inhale here and then exhale release and then on the inhale lift the crown of the head lift the forehead towards the knees hugging in and then we'll exhale release setting up for the opposite side our right side here arms out to a T and then we'll drop knees over to the right can stay here if this feels perfect for you or you can extend bottom leg for a bit deeper variation bringing that awareness back to the breath focusing on those deep inhales and exhales
a big inhale here. Exhale, release. And then on that next inhale, we'll bring knees into chest and crown of the head or forehead into knees. Exhale, release, setting up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. You can extend the legs long. You can use a bolster under the knees or you can bend knees, allowing them to fall in towards each other. And then bringing the feet as wide as is comfortable, releasing any tension from the low back. Taking three rounds of deep breath to settle in here. And begin to bring your awareness to the breath by deepening the inhales and exhales. You can all bend the knees if they are not already and make your way to your favorite side. A breath here. And then on that next inhale, begin to slowly lift your way up to a comfortable seat for our final breath here together. On the inhale, we'll reach high overhead. Exhale, palms through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.